Hello friends, welcome to my channel Creative Art. My name is Nilima and today we are going to paint this beautiful glass painting of this scarf lady. This is the second scarf lady painting which we are going to paint. Okay, all the materials needed to make this painting are mentioned in the description box as well as in the video. Okay, this painting is made step by step so that every person with dedication can surely make this painting. So enjoy painting friends. That's our glass painting now. First of all, we have taken a photocopy, a colored photocopy of our glass painting as well as a black and white photocopy of our glass painting. And now we'll place our transparent sheet exactly on our black and white photocopy. And first of all, we'll secure all the four corners gently using tape. Okay, so here all the four corners are secured now. So first of all, what we are going to do is we are going to make the face part, the skin color part, which is visible. Either you can paint that face part on a sheet and then cut it out exactly to the shape and paste it over here. Or else you can take a color photocopy of the glass painting and cut out the face part and exactly paste it on the picture. Okay. So we are going to cut it out first. We are using a scissor, a very sharp scissor to cut this. Here is the waste part. I am keeping it out and we are going to paste exactly the face on this part okay, using a glue. So I have applied the glue, I am placing exactly Ok, I have placed the face exactly We will let it dry for at least an hour Ok So here is uh, the picture has got dried up now now we are going to outline our flowers and this design using 261 metallic gold camlin glass liner which is water based. Okay, so let's start and always do keep a clean napkin with you whenever required.
similarly we will be completing the whole outlining design part and the dots will be puring the whole scarf so friends here is our lining part completed we have not lined the top section because that will be lining after when we have been completed our coloring because as this is a river glass painting technique so that uh, we'll first color the spot and after that we'll create the linings we have done the bottom part which is the flower part and we'll start coloring so for that first of all we'll be removing the secured tape from all the four sides And now we'll place it on a white clean sheet so that all the shades may be clearly absorbed. Now we'll start coloring our painting using fevicryl glass colors which are water based and I believe in 10 shades. For the uh, peach flowers we are specially going to use a special color that is peach color. This color is loosely available and we'll be coloring first the flowers then the leaves this time okay. So let's, let's start coloring.
friends this is how a beautiful painting looks like when it has got completely dried up and we have also completed our lining part the top which was remaining okay using our golden liner and we have also made some beautiful dots to decorate the flower and leaves of this painting and here were some sliding hairs which we made using golden so this is the final look you get when your whole com complete painting is dried it took about 12 to 15 hours to get dried completely okay so friends if you did enjoy this video do like and subscribe my channel